This is my new electronics workstation and today I'm going to show you how I built it. As my projects have become more complex, I've found myself doing a lot more electronics work than I ever have previously. I'm also in my mid 30s now, which means every day I'm discovering new parts of my body that hurt and my back is certainly no exception. The bench in my workshop is a standard workbench height of about 900mm which is great for working on larger parts, but it gets uncomfortable quickly when I have to solder anything as I need to bend over a bit to get a good look at what I'm doing. Now that I've seen myself in this position from a third person perspective, I am not surprised I can only manage an hour or so of working like this before I'm in crippling pain. So when FlexiSpot reached out and asked me if I wanted to make a video about their popular E7 standing desk, it seemed like the perfect opportunity to try and improve my posture and make these projects just a little less painful on my body. I'll also make a simple three printed fume extractor and an organizer for the growing pile of surface mount components I have to deal with. I picked the 140 centimeter wide tabletop in white paired with black legs as it goes well with the color scheme in my studio. There's also a bamboo option for the tabletop if you prefer a more natural finish. The white tabletop is ideal for me as it should make it easy to find any of the tiny surface mount components that I might drop. I can also lower it and use the table to shoot gameplay footage for my handheld projects. I think I've got everything here that I need and I'm keen to see this table, so let's get started. That was easy, the instructions are clear and the assembly process only took about 30 minutes even with the filming. The frame and legs of this table are absolutely overkill. No wonder it's able to support 160 kilos. The build quality is top notch and the powder coated finish on the legs is excellent. The height range goes from 60 centimeters all the way up to 126 and it takes about 20 seconds to travel the full distance with no weight on it. I knew very little about this table coming into this but I was interested to see that the controller readout actually shows the height above ground so I decided to check it with my tape measure and it looks to be pretty close. This is a great feature for me as I can simply measure the height of my computer desk and match the sitting position to this as I know it's already a comfortable height for my chair. Now that the table is all set up I can start adding accessories. Since I'm in a more enclosed space I feel like I should have a solder fume extractor especially for the times that I'm soldering up close to my face. So I purchased a couple of cheap PC fans and some carbon filters and got to work designing a 3D printed housing for them. The design Design is quite simple. The fans and filters just slot in from the top and then the cover just pushes into place to hold it all in there. The whole thing can be printed without supports on a 220 by 220 size print bed. I'm still getting my new printer dialed in so I had to do mine in two parts and glue it together as I had some extrusion issues halfway through the print. I've uploaded the design to Thingiverse if anyone is interested in building their own. Next up is the organizer for my surface mount components. I already have one of these boxes that's completely full and I have a lot more stuff to sort out. So I'm going to build a simple rack for three of these boxes. I whipped up a quick design that I could laser cut on the fiber laser I have access to at work. I'm happy enough with it for now, but it is a bit wobbly, so I might build a more robust one in the future. Now that's all done, let's set everything up. I didn't get the extended cable management tray, but I'm just going to zip tie a power board to the back side of this support and stick on a couple of these cable 
management things to route the wires for my soldering tools. I also picked up this little USB powered magnifier light to make some of the finer work a little easier. Fortunately the E7 has a USB port built into the control panel which is perfect for powering devices like this. With the height dialed in for this kind of work you can see my posture is already much better than it was previously and being able to adjust the table height to suit the needs of whatever I'm working on is an absolute game changer. Seeing how smooth the height adjustment is made me realize another potential use for this table. With my camera clamped to the front and some carefully placed lights, I can use the table's motors as a nice steady dolly shot for my projects. Thanks to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. This is going to make my future electronics projects so much more comfortable and it may even prevent a couple of trips to the physio. Make sure you check out the link in the video description if you're interested in the desk and leave a comment if you can think of anything else I should add to make this setup the best it can be. Thanks for watching.